Welcome to this video tutorial for Mercury EP Intelligent Controllers integration into Genetex Security Center. In this video tutorial you will learn how to configure and enroll a Mercury EP controller. This video covers all EP controllers supported by the Synergis software 10.2. However, for a full complete list of all compatible devices and supported firmware, please consult the latest Synergis software integration guide. Before you can enroll the Mercury controller, you must assign a static IP address to the controller. All Mercury EP controllers have a DIP switch labeled S1. You have to set the switch number 1 to the ON position. This will give you a 5 minute window to log on. If you log into the EP controller for the first time, use the default address 192.168.0.251 and enter the default credentials admin and password. Select network from the menu and configure the controller's IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS. When done, click Accept. Next, select HostCom from the menu. In the Host Communication page, you need to configure a few settings. The communication address has to be set to 0. Data security has to be set to TLS required. This is mandatory when using Synergy Software 10.2 and later. If it's not enabled, the EP controller will remain offline. Next, configure the port number. This port number is used by the Synergis unit to communicate with the Mercury controller. The default port number is 3001. Select the authorized IP address required and then configure the IP address of the Synergis unit. Click Accept when you are done. Select Users from the menu. And then click New User. Creating a user is optional, but doing this, it will save you the trouble of having to physically access the unit in order to change the DIP switch to the on position each time you need to access its web page. On the user account page, enter username and password and then click save. Select apply settings and click apply settings reboot. On the Mercury controller board, set switch number 1 to the OFF position for normal operation. When prompted to proceed, select I understand and then click Yes, followed by OK. You are now ready to enroll the EP controller. The enrollment is performed from Config Tool, Access Control, Roles and Units. Expand the Access Manager role and select this Synergis appliance and then click on Peripherals. Click Add an item. From the Model drop-down menu, select the EP controller model you wish to enroll. Add the EP controller IP address and port number, and then select the desired channel. Please remember that each EP controller must have a unique channel ID. If you are downstreaming subpanels like the MR50 or MR52, you can add them from the Interfaces panel by clicking the Add an Item button. For more detailed info on subpanels, please watch the MR50 MR52 video tutorial guide. Please note that MR51E PoE panels must be added after enrolling the EP controller. Additionally, you can click on the advanced settings to change the serial port baud rate if you're using something else than the default 38400. And you can change the custom supervised input values for your inputs. After you click OK, 
The enrollment process begins. It's represented by the pending addition message. Once the EP controller shows online, you can go ahead and create a door using the new hardware from this controller. You can expand and see all the IOs and readers. Doors are created from the Area View task. Click Add an Entity and then select Door. Give your door a name and description. You can rename the door sides to your preference. Select the Synergist appliance from the Access Control Unit drop-down menu and then specify the EP controller in the Interface Module drop-down menu. With the door selected, click on the Hardware tab. From here we can add the reader or a second reader if you have readers on both sides of the door. Door strike output and any desired inputs like request to exit or door contact. You can then add the access rules from the access rule tab in order to grant access to card holders. You can also add unlock schedules or modify the door properties to your requirements. This concludes this video tutorial. Please stay tuned for more. Thank you.